Obsessible! Hi, this is CK Sable with The Daily Obsession. I wanted to uh, talk to you guys a bit today about Hackintosh netbooks. It's all the rage. Uh, Boing Boing Gadgets has a nice little chart that we've talked about on the site before and um, that I'll link to in the post accompanying this. And uh, today they put out a post asking, uh, noting how does a Hackintosh netbook compare to the iBook and with some actual stats that another site run, ran and the site was Macintoshable. Is that Macintoshable? No, that's just the term they said. Apple different. Um, actually did stats against a netbook running OS X hacked on it versus, um, you know, an actual iBook. Now that was on MSI Wind, which is a much more advanced machine than this one. This is the uh, first generation ASUS EPC uh, 4G, which I have ripped apart over 10 times, installed a touch screen on it, put a flash drive in it, uh, broke both those, took them out. Uh, now it's back to its default, except recently I installed uh, OS X on it, uh, Tiger version, to see how it would perform and how it does. And it does okay with some caveats. So for example, let's turn it on. And you'll notice I have a uh, VGA cord plugged in here. And the reason I have that plugged in is because it doesn't boot properly without it. It uh, just goes straight to, uh, it does this blue screen thing and freezes. It gives you this section here where you have the Apple showing up and then it goes blue and then nothing happens. And we're waiting and we're waiting. And this is one of the things about the device is uh, I've installed both Windows XP, which is supported on this device, and uh, Ubuntu Linux and the default Linux that came with the uh, with the EPC and all of those run much more smoothly than OS 10 on this. The Wi-Fi connection does not work on this either and the reason the Wi-Fi doesn't work is because the uh, default card that comes inside the device uh, is not recognized. There is a card that you can replace it with to make the Wi-Fi work on it if you wanted to really go with OS 10 on the EPC. Uh, notice it's still booting while I'm talking about this. but um, that solution, uh, I ordered one on eBay and it ended up being defunct, it didn't work, so uh, it's a little hard to get your hands on. Uh, much easier is to get a USB dongle. This is actually a 3G card, uh, not a regular USB Wi-Fi, but uh, it plugs into one of the USB ports here. And notice how huge it is in comparison to the small computer itself, so it's a little bit bulky, but it does provide internet for it. But here we are still booting up. And uh, we're 2 minutes and 56 section, seconds into this uh, podcast. Oh, blue screen. Now let's see if it's going to recognize. And this is where it freezes. So here it is booting up one more time. And this time, instead of just having the uh, cable plugged in, I also have it plugged into my Wacom Cintiq uh, 12WX. And you can see the Apple insignia coming up there two minutes and it's frozen again okay so here it is um, third time's a charm I had to reboot it three times to get it to come up and run as you can see uh, here I am in the finder and if I go down to the bottom of the screen my little dock pops up and uh, like I said there's no internet um, a couple of drawing programs I have on here because it does work with my Wacom Cintiq uh, Art Rage and Corel Painter X they both run, um, although a bit sluggish, and yeah, you know, it works. It's not great, though. Ah, it's connected. Okay. Let's launch Safari real quick. One. See, it pulls up quickly. It starts trying to get a site, and there it goes. You see that loading? Let's load a site that might show up and that you might recognize. Uh, so here it is with Obsessible loaded up on it on the E. So there's Obsessible on a hacked uh, Asus EPC running OS X Tiger, which is 10.4. It's the old version. And I do own a legitimate copy of it. Uh, 
this is a violation of the terms of service and licensing terms of the software. However, I'm going to be deleting it all quickly and replacing it with XP or Ubuntu because those both run much better on this model EPC. Not really great performance from these machines, but no one can deny that they're super small, super portable. This has been CK Sample with the Daily Obsession. Uh, talk to you again soon. Cheers.